Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through physical and chemical changes. So what are physical changes? What are chemical changes? And what is the difference, discrepancy or disparity between them? Physical changes are changes in which no new substances are formed. Meanwhile, in chemical changes, new substances are formed. What do I mean by that? In our daily life, things change. For example, I put this in the fire. It gets burnt. It melts, right? So it has changed. Or I put water in the freezer. Turn it on. After some hours, I go take it. It's not blocked. It has changed, right? So those are changes. Or iron gets rust. That is a change. But if in that changes, no new substance is formed, then it's a physical change. And examples are uh, ice, melting of ice, or when you boil water. It doesn't change to beans. Okay? When you are boiling water also, it's evaporating. It's not changing to fish. You can condense it and it turns to water. So that's physical changes. Any change you see that no new substance is formed and it can be reversed. It's reversible. Then the physical properties of the substance still remains the same. That's physical changes. But for chemical changes, once and when you burn a paper, it's gone. You can't reverse it. Or when a, a, an iron gets rust, you can't. So that's a physical change. New substance is being formed. When you burn wood, burning of wood, it's burnt. You can't bring it back to the uh, to wood the way it is. <laughs> Can you? You can't. Or uh, digestion of food. After eating rice, it has not digested. They now to reverse it back to become the rice. You can't do that. So those are chemical substance uh, changes. In chemical changes, new substances are not formed, and the composition of the substance changes. Okay, and most of the new substance will not even have properties that are similar to the initial substance. So that's physical and chemical changes and the differences between them. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos.